Breakdown of the Truck Demon, Chapter 1, Story and Art by Caged. Of course. This just in, Sancho the Fat has escaped from prison. Sancho the Fat? The human wrecking ball? How did they expect to keep someone like him in prison? Hopefully no one gets hurt. Hmm? <laughs> Meanwhile... End of the line, Hector. Just hand over the documents. No need for this to get bloody. You will have to take it from us. Us? Is that all? I expected more from you. Moan! How dare you! You took your child to a battlefield? I did not think Kasaragi could go any lower. Stop talking all I am mighty, traitor. You are the best swordsman in the Katsuragi Imperial Army. Yet, you throw it all away to join up with that false king in Usaka and his degenerate rebels? I have no king. You know nothing about Inusaka or what he stands for. He is a just leader who wants to create a- A just leader? Have you forgotten about the raid on Lamino already? Hundreds of innocent civilians killed. Moan's birth parents were slaughtered right in front of her. Even your wife beheaded in a cavalry charge while shielding your son. It's a blessing your son survived. Now you're working with the very people who destroyed your hometown? The monsters that killed your wife, I don't think- Shut up! Don't you dare lecture me about Lamino! I have my reasons. You won't believe me even if I told you. This conversation has gone on long enough. Just give me the documents and leave. You are truly lost. It's so sad to see you like this, Samson. Now, this is the Hector I wanted to see. Show me the power of an Imperial Mage. What's wrong, Hector? Run out of your stupid rocks! Damn! I missed. At least I destroyed that armor. Traitors should not wear such honorable attire. Shut up, you bastard! Look what you made me do, idiot. I did not want to hurt you, Hector. I did not want for this to get bloody. No matter. Just give me the documents, and I'll be on my way. You may not understand my intentions, especially after what happened to Lamino, but let me make one thing clear. I do this for family. Hello viewer, welcome to a brief intermission. If you are enjoying the comic so far, please consider reading the non-audiobook version on my website, thebetweenworlds.net, which will be linked either in the comments, the description, or on the about page of my YouTube channel. Also, if you really enjoy, please consider joining our Discord server, which will also be linked in those same three places. If you really, really enjoy, please consider leaving a tip on my Patreon. Otherwise, stay here, enjoy some of this concept art before we get back into the story. I really appreciate you for sticking around this long and I hope you enjoy the rest. Uh, where am I? <gasps> hey, can you hear me? Oh god, he's dead. What do I do? The hell? What happened to your leg? Do you need to go to the hospital? Thanks for the assist, sir. But I have my own healer in the capital, and I have no idea who this hospital is. 
what do you mean you don't know what a hospital is? Hey, don't touch that. Awesome! Moan, how many times have I told you to not touch things that don't belong to you? Aw, but I want to look at it more, Hector. No buts. Hmm. Honestly, I spoiled that girl too much. I need to start teaching her more discipline. She is of common birth, so I don't need to teach her to be a regal lady. But she should still learn some manners. Oh, and another thing, and... Wah, 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 wah. I'm not interested in your life story, pal. And what are they wearing? Oh, I get it. This is some sort of film set or elaborate roleplay, right? Also, that leg. How'd you get to look so realistic? But there is a time and a place for that, and now is not the time. We need to get this man to the hospital. I don't care about your game. There is a man bleeding out on the ground over there. It's probably too late, but we should at least try to help him. In fact, let me call 911. Welcome to Joy Phone. Damn it, I really need to switch providers. What the hell? Why is my hand turning green? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why would you want to save one of Inosaka's minions? Also, I still have no idea who 911 in Hospital are. Shit, let's all pick up again. Thanks for the help, but my leg really hurts and I need to get to my healer before it's too rotted to be reattached. Moan, we have to go. Oh god, he's actually hurt. I'm hungry, Hector! We don't have time. We have to get to the healer fast. Let's go, we will eat at the capital. But that's a three hour walk! Wait, Hector was it? I can give you a ride to your healer if you want. Sure, that would be great. But where is your horse? We don't need one. I have a truck right here. Get in. What do you mean? How is one meant to move that massive thing without a horse? What kind of magic is this? A horseless carriage? It's just a truck. Are you guys gonna get in or not? What am I getting myself into? They said we were close to the capital, right? How did I end up in Albany? I was just in Manhattan a few moments ago. By the way, what's your name, sir? My name's Martin Wilson. Nice to meet you. Everything is ruined. Wait, not yet. There still may be a chance. A horseless carriage? What an interesting idea. Read the rest of Volume 1 on my website, or subscribe to be notified when the next audio chapter drops.